have you checked the What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Horror Show. I'm Cecil Laird. Arthur Wolfman. And you got Jaime and Fuego here. And we are here to do an awesome vlog, you guys. We are here to check out a brand new place here in Arizona, Chandler, Arizona, as a matter of fact, called The Terror Trader. He has a lot of really awesome horror stuff. We're gonna take you through the store. We're gonna show you all of this awesome stuff and we're gonna vlog it all along the way. So we have such sights to show. You. Indeed. So let's go check it out. What do you guys say? Damn Three. reason. All right. Is it an alien? Is it a Yeti? Who's to say the Yeti isn't an alien? You can't tell me any different. Have you ever met it? No, neither have I. This could be a very accurate representation. What can I say? Looks pretty badass to me. Yep, this could look right out of the new American Horror Story, I gotta say. So clearly one of the awesome things that they have here is this extensive extensive collection of awesome horror periodicals, right? You have some kick-ass old school Fangorias, you've even got some new room orgs, you've got some old school creepies, you've got some horror show and gore zones. These two issues probably won't be here by the time you come here because I'm gonna get them. But nonetheless, they have an outstanding collection of these old horror periodicals. You can check out how horror has been covered for all different generations, quite frankly. That's the nice thing about this. And then at the very bottom here, you even have some cool horror novels from people that you may or may not have ever heard of, as well as some cool horror adjacent books to entertain all different types, depending on what kind of horror fan you are. So make sure you check all this stuff out as well. Definitely gonna say, I like the spinal candle. Kind of a nice ring to it. Bunch of pillars, various others. Start your coven accordingly. So look at this. So this is actually one of the rooms that I was more excited about. So apparently down here at the bottom we have actual exorcism masks. Look how badass these things are. These, oh, holy shit. Old school balming machine. Apparently still works. Oh, hey guy. How's it hanging?
Apparently this bad boy still works. Cecil wouldn't let me try it on him. This is of course a cursed record player. Neato. Hey, how you doing? Yep. How you doing? I'm doing that. Uh, Get it? How you doing? How? How? Oh no, human. Oh no. So as y'all can see, there is quite the array from Trick or Treat Studios. And I was caught by Book of Souls Eddie here, but then we've also got him up there as a tail gunner. And some EC love and various other things. I mean, come on, Return of the Living Dead. Oh, my beloved Puppet Master, what has become of y'all? Pinhead, you've seen better days, dude. And I would still brandish my face with such. And Blade, well, you've kind of become the center of the proceedings, but that's okay. So as y'all can see, there is a Jason Voorhees mask for not just every day of the week, but for just about every day of October or whatever month you feel like getting scarific and slash tastic and all of those silly things that we like to say on here. There's an abundance of things to cover your nasty faces with.
Not unnerving in the least. Jesus. Anyone that says not all dolls are cursed clearly hasn't been to this section of the Terror Trader store. I don't know what to tell you. All these dolls look cursed to me. <laughs> and this is who I'm probably picking up tonight. This room right here, now this brings back some old nostalgia. Remember those good old Friday nights and you couldn't wait to get to the old movie store? Ah, oh, those old classic VHS movies. Some good, some bad. Some we'd prefer to forget about. Mm-hmm. Here, got the nice little vampire hunting kit, accompanied by some subspecies. Of course, can't forget about the Necronomicon. Yep, that's right. You want to illuminate your room with the remnants of a living creature? You can do that here. That is most definitely a possibility. Look at all of these. Goddamn nightmare jar. never even got the chance to live. I think that one did though. This is cool. Look, look at that. Well, I'll be damned. These are real. These are real human ribs. Yeah. Think what you will. But I know there's a lot who would want them. Of course. Everyone needs a butt plug. One of the really cool aspects about Terror Trader is that they have all of these kiosks right in the middle of the store, or maybe not kiosks as much as separated shelving units, where local horror artists are able to come and bring all of the things that they create, and Terror Trader will sell it for them.
So each of these individual booths are a different horror artist that operates locally. ticket guys all kinds of spectacular stuff that will dissolve and find its way into the pores of your bodies And then, of course, you have their psychic reading room. They plan to have a psychic posted here most of the time, and you can walk in and get free readings at any time. Yes, I wish I could have been the employee of the month in Esmar, but they fired me after two weeks. One of my favorites right here, rated M. Murder. Antichrist Social Club. Yeah, just an awesome array. So much rad status stuff. Because you can't spell slaughter without laughter, right? And yes, cats are killers. Oh, you're a horror poster fan, you say? Well, guess what? They have a nice collection of horror posters here as well, including an old school Army of Darkness poster. You've got some old school Godzilla. You've got the original Hellraiser here. You've got some Exorcist and Halloween action. I know none of you guys are fans of either of those movies for sure. You've got some Frankenstein, a little more good Godzilla action. All kinds of awesome horror goodness in the poster format, the Land of the Living Dead, the Evil Dead, the original Thing in Jaws. Okay, so those two posters are for me as well. Uh, there's just too much good stuff here, to be honest with you. Oh, is that a Lost Boys? We just recently found out that they're gonna be remaking Lost Boys, and I'm sure it's gonna be good as this original one for sure, right guys? Because that's always how these remakes go. You've got The Shining, you've got Friday the 13th, and you've got, God damn it, they have Child's Play 2. <sighs> It's my favorite Child's Play movie, and that poster is actually one of the things that I remember most growing up because my mom, my dad, and I went to New York when I was a kid, and one of the billboards I saw in New York was the Sorry Jack, Chucky's Back, Child's Play 2 billboard. <sighs> Yet another thing I'm going to have to buy today. Okay, all right, continuing on. Oh, good, an original Nightmare on Elm Street poster because I didn't have enough things I wanted to buy. Guys, definitely cannot forget horror comics, of which there are an abundance. Look at this. 
Pinocchio Vampire Slayer. I was aware this was a little graphic novel, but not versus the Vampire Zoo. Did you say Pinocchio Vampire Slayer? Most definitely. <laughs> so we got some Pinhead, and if you want to go to the more high dollar and rightfully so area, yeah, check out some of these rarities. Stretching back to the EC era, and obviously The Walking Dead still continues to pack quite the price. Chamber of Thrills, huh? Is that not been on so many things? Alright guys, so that is everything that the Terror Trader has to offer, at least as of today, which is grand opening day. Yeah. I'm sure they're about to get hollowed out by all the people that are going to be coming through, which I'm sure we dropped in some of that footage as well. So much. And there is just a lot of really cool stuff to come see here at the Terror Trader in Chandler, Arizona. Thank you very much to Jason for having us come out and take a look at the store ahead of time. We hope if you guys come into Arizona, you definitely come check oh, out the yeah. Terror Trader. I mean, look at that diorama of the Return of the Living Dead poster right there. It's so freaking badass. So just so much cool stuff. I'm walking out of here spending probably close to 500 bones on my first go round, but you guys are gonna see the fruits of that labor on the channel in the near future. Yeah, so. the labor being I'm gonna take that. I want that. Yeah. Uh, I want put that the, aside. Yeah, I'm gonna take that. Give me, basically. Give me, give me. Like that. Yep. Mm -hmm. It's October. But you almost. gotta wait a couple months. Yeah. For <laughs> so. What's your birthday week? Though? Let us know what you guys thought of this place in the comments down below. We greatly appreciate you guys checking out the video. And uh, you know, if there's a, a link to their store online, I will definitely put it in the description box down below they are as on well. Instagram at Terror Traders. Yes. There you go, Terror yep. Traders on Instagram. And they have an Etsy too, from what we understand. Sure, I'm, I don't, I'm, I don't so. doubt it. Up, so. <laughs> all right, so thank you to all of our patrons for supporting the channel the way that you do. Thank you to everyone else for watching this episode. Until next time, I've been Cecil Laird. Rock the Wolfman. I just had a gorgasm. I've been having it for you guys. And remember, <laughs> stay, stay scared. scared.